Live, local, late breaking. This is WBAL TV 11 News Today. Well, if the first room guests see in your home, it's the foyer. How to improve the room that makes the first impression that's coming up. Your foyer. Well, my guest this morning says that your foyer is to your home is what a first date is to a long-term relationship. So how do you dress it up? Make a good first impression. Debbie Weiner of Designing Solutions is here to help. Thanks for coming in, Debbie. Oh, it's my pleasure. You know, I always think of the foyer as a blind date. Ooh. You get to the door, Lisa, you're hoping for the best. You want to <laughs> see something you like when that door opens. And if you're lucky, you like it, Whew, the That's rest right. of the day is going to be a snap. So we want to make a great first impression, and there are just a few key fundamentals that'll get you there. Okay. What's this that you brought along? That's part of it. We start with rugs. The first thing that crosses over the threshold into your foyer is your foot. So mm -hmm. let's give it a soft landing. You know, all the world's great civilizations were built from the ground up, and your foyer should be as well. I brought samples to show you how a small area rug with lots of color mm -hmm. and lots of pattern will make a great style statement, set the tone of your foyer, give the foot a soft landing, and most importantly, with color and pattern, mm -hmm. it hides a lot of stains, mm -hmm. mud, debris, all the things that come in on your foot. All right, let, we have some pictures to show us. Let's look at the pictures, and that'll give our audience a little, another idea of what they can do. Absolutely. What, what are we seeing here? We're seeing a great foyer with all the fundamentals that make it fabulous. First and foremost, it's got a great rug as its base. Now, the clients here were afraid of using too much strong color, so we've got a soft interplay going with green and bone white. Another fundamental for a great foyer is making it functional. Mm -hmm. And you'll see there's a table, Lisa. Mm -hmm. You can put down a bag, a bouquet of flowers, drop your letters and your keys. And finally, there's eye candy, right at eye level, in a great framed mirror. That sets off a beautiful mm -hmm. foyer. There's nothing else needed. All right, let's go to the next picture. And here we have a new breed. It's the working foyer. Along with making a great statement in a bright red color, it's also a working foyer. Here the homeowner has a little home office going. And again, all the fundamentals. Rug, something to sit on, something to put mail and keys on, and some great wall art. That's great. I like that. Okay, let's... let's oh. Oh, right. you know why I included this picture? Here was a client living in an older home, split level, and she really doesn't have a foyer. But nevertheless, she wants to make a great and functional statement from the moment you enter her house. So where there was just a landing, we've added a small rug, put in a small bench, added some great wall art, and ta-da! Space is not the issue here. She's still making a big statement without a lot of room. And you can do a lot of this on a, a you know, small budget. Oh, a you total shoestring budget. Not only that, Lisa, you could do all of this in time for Thanksgiving. And a little bit of paint, a great area rug, something on the walls, and something to sit on. One weekend, you can transform your foyer. Even if you burn that turkey on Thanksgiving Day, <laughs> you've got a fabulous foyer. Let's go out and look at the foyer, everyone. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, Debbie. Designing Solutions, that's the name of your company. You can be reached at 301-445-6336 or go to www.mydesigningsolutions.com. That's right, and we answer questions that we get online, and we'd be happy to answer any viewers' questions for a future segment. Okay, like people want to know, can you come out to my house? For I can, I can. <laughs> thanks so much. My pleasure. All right, Kate.